Fox Army. Hang on a second, guys. Alright, so what is a Four Hawks Army? It is the Iron Man here, and today I am bringing you some War Hawks No Mercy 2016 predictions. I have some predictions from various members of the group. Yes, I am aware that the show just started. We were do running a little late. I apologize. Um, for those of you who are not aware, today is my wife, Sharania, a.k.a. Shinron, a.k.a. Steph's birthday. So if you guys want to wish her a happy birthday, do so in the chat or in the comments if you're watching on YouTube. It would be greatly appreciated. I will let her know that you guys said happy birthday. Um, so, uh, for those of you who are not aware, the uh, Triple Threat World title match is kicking off No Mercy right now because they don't want to put it against the presidential debate. And because, uh, because of factors, I can't, um, I can't exactly do an accurate simulation of the game, so I figured I'd just do what I can. Sorry, guys. Um... And, um, sorry, I was checking something. Um, so first, the first one I'm going to do, and I'm going to try to get it all done so I can switch over and just go to the match, um, or, or not to the match, to the show, is what I'm going to do, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stretch this out as far as I can. So, um, we have predictions from myself. Uh, Steph, TJ, defending Warhawks heavyweight champion Z uh, Shock Factor, a couple of predictions from Zatzugi, and a f prediction for predictions from my. Um, for my friend Devin, for those of you who know him. Hey, I have one person in the chat. How's everybody doing? And so, um, but yeah, let's get into it. Start match. Uh, I might have, I might have, um, I couldn't, I couldn't get the No Mercy, the new No Mercy arena, so I just went with the SmackDown Live arena. Um, I couldn't get, or I might get, I might be getting, um, my friend DJ, who you guys saw during my, when we played, um, Uncharted 4 together, I might be getting him to join me. It's up to him if he will the or not. The contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Intercontinental Championship. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. As a proud former Intercontinental Champion, I can tell you that winning the title is no easy task. Or keeping it. Nah, it took me more than a decade and a half to win it. And you lost it in a few seconds. Ah, don't talk about that. Oh, my God.
so. Oh, this place is coming alive now. This Intercontinental Championship match is guaranteed to be a match of the year candidate. The uh, electricity. is Baron Corbin arena. versus Jack Swagger. Now, this was originally one, one. supposed mile to be mile. on the pre show, and here's but the it Working looks like control. it may have gotten bumped to the main show due to the women's championship match being canceled. So, uh, he's just playing classic offense here. Yeah, that's when he's the most dangerous. Steph, who is at work currently, which is why she's not here, picks Baron Corbin as uh. As do it's been quite the Zach, day, but now Dolph Ziggler is the challenger shot, of the title, and we have and one hell of a match here. Right. One of the things many fans do not know about yep. Dolph Ziggler was that he was a decorated amateur. As do Zach Shock and Devin Bennett, NCAA and me and TJ picked to Jack Swagger each of his four years, even then, a show off. I'm sure because well, I'm sure I doubt more than they're the going to trade him over to SmackDown just to. Just to uh, have him job out to Baron Corbin, I, I, I highly doubt it. Look at this, Dolph Ziggler doing uh, some good let's work. See. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet, lightning fast. Following Look, that, we have the match between Kurt Hawkins, who's now returning, a fall like that, let alone continue and in a match. You're right. This may be close to over. An Come opponent you talk about to be revealed later in the night. And up until recently, I had no idea that Dolph is fourth all time at his alma mater, Kent State, with a hundred. Like when he comes out. Quick uh, this is actually this actually includes a bonus prediction where you try to where we're trying to predict who his opponent's gonna be. Steph thinks it's actually going to be uh, Neville and thinks that he is going to win. Though she forgot about the fact that he is on Raw, but it could still happen. Um, TJ and uh, Shock as well as... TJ and Shock actually think it's going to be a random jobber. Of being the best in the business. You know, and think that Hawkins are gonna uh Ziggler's amateur wrestling record. I think is that Hawkins is gonna win. You talked about his college days, and when you add to that his high school resume of two national championships, as does that, it makes or, sense or, why wait, today no. in WWE he yeah, is a as does that. show off. The Miz with a nice reversal. Or no. Shock wasn't sure who to pick, so he just randomly picked Jinder Mahal. I apologize. That's the one that thinks that it's a random job. I think it's either going to be Kane or a random job. And depending on... Demonstrations like that before the night's over. Depending on which one I'm right about... Ziggler's an impressive athlete. There's no doubt about that. This could be all zero. You know, it's been well documented that the Miz came Depending on which one I'm right about, I think TV. it's either going to be Kane that wins or Hawkins if it's a random the job. Locker room. But he worked his way up the ladder and earned everything he has today. Oh, and Devin Bennett, I'm sorry, thinks that Samoa Joe is going to be called up and it's going to be him and he's going to win. The Intercontinental Championship. The shoulders are down. All right. Um, He's in big trouble. No, not again. And he fails to connect with anything that time. After that, it, it, our next prediction will be Carmella versus Nikki Bella. You know, when you're talking and about the Miz and his reality television career, everybody making but it tougher for him to be accepted by the locker room. Uh, but Pops Devin Bennett think that uh, Nikki Bella's going to win. Right I also, uh, everybody, 
except for myself. I actually think that Carmella is going to win as well. Looking good so far. Not much damage, if any, has been absorbed. Hey, the shoulders are down. Two. All right, and then our next prediction will be Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages uh, and in over 110 with countries. With it pretty much split down the middle with Stephen and, Orton, and, Steph and DJ one. thinking Orton will win. And you know, Michael, Michael, if you recall, Chuck and Devin Bennett thinking Wyatt will win. I actually hope that Wyatt wins. 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 For a superstar to debut on one of the most watched shows on television makes a statement. And that night, Dolph Ziggler made a statement. But I could be wrong. You know how wishy-washy they are with him. Will this be enough? Hang on. And for those of you in the chat, I know that it's going on currently. I'm going to switch over and watch it after this. No spoilers in the chat for any matches that are on the main show. If you spoil anything, you will be timed out. And we can easily see more of this. The show off can quicken the pace when he wants, so look at All right. Who knows what kind of hashtag. And then our next match will be the one that is being simulated Jerry right now, which is The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler to raise the bar for all WWE to, uh, superstars. In a career versus title match. Is proof Ziggler has done just that. Where uh, for the Intercontinental Championship, where if Ziggler loses, he must retire. Um, Steph Remember, and Devin Bennett WWE think, WWE think that uh, The and Miz will win. TJ and Shock think that Dolph will win. I actually think that The Miz is going to win. So we'll go with that. This thing might be a quick pin attempt here. Another great night of action here tonight. Is and feel free to leave your uh, predictions Super in the comments or in the chat. Depending on where you're watching this from. Oh, out of nowhere! It's back and forth all night. And yes, I am kind of hurrying through this because I want to get it done in time to uh, watch... To, to not miss much of uh, the to not miss much of the paper like I'll watch it any I'll watch it from the beginning either way but I don't want to miss much, much more damage he can take next up is the uh, Smackdown Tag Team Championship match between Beauty and the Man Beast, Heath Slater and Rhino, the champions, and the Usos. And again, this is pretty much split down the middle because Steph and TJ, oh no, I'm sorry, it's not split down the middle. Steph, TJ, and Zat, all, or not Zat, Shock Factor, all think that Slater and Rhino are going to retain. Devin Bennett and myself think that the Usos will win. Just because I it's think that it's gonna that use that Man, that, that uh, Slater and Rhino are transitional chances. That would send a message to your adversary, all right. Right, and the message reads P A I N, and down he goes. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. And then finally, the match that is going on in real life right now. And that is the uh, the, thing is that the, more Miz the triple the threat match, match the for the is. WWE World Championship between oh, nice counter. Oh, wait, nice AJ Styles, oh, the champion, John Cena, and Dean Ambrose. Now oh, this that. one is Just pretty, it's, it, it's kind of the mixed this could because... Be Stephanie TJ think Ambrose will get the title back. 
shock back. factor thinks well, AJ will retain, the there anyway. and Devin thinks the that Cena will win. He did it. Hey, congratulations, you so, I myself think that um, let's take a look back at what exactly happened during this. Think week. that AJ will retain. But that's just me. That's just how I see it. Um, I know I kind of rushed through this, but again, that we were running late, incredible. and I wanted to catch as much of the pay-per-view live as I could. Um, so I apologize for it feeling rushed. One in a million is the only way to describe this match. We still got to do uh, loser challenges for Backlash and Clash of Champions. But... Oh, through... Here's your winner at the field. Um, But that is going to do it for me for now. I will not be live streaming later. I hate to... I hate to break... I hate to to do it, but it's my wife's birthday. You guys know how that is. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for us for right now. We love you guys. Again, feel free to sound off in the comments with your own predictions. And we will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys. Love y'all.